We're at the World Wrestling Championships in Kiev, the Soviet Union, in 1983. And a Ukrainian coach comes up to me, and he spoke English quite well, and he says, do you have any Playboy magazines? Because uh, I'd like to trade a, uh, uh, a wrestling booklet, you know, uh, for a Playboy magazine. And I said, I'm sorry, I, I don't have any, but I do have a little booklet, and I don't need the wrestling uh, book, but if you'd like to have lunch, I'd like to tell you uh, just four simple points about how you can know God. He said, sure. And uh, so I, I tell people, this is a cheeseburger evangelism. Uh, you just have to make sure you either have a really compact gospel message or you have a really long line. You know, so I'm there with a couple of the other AIA guys and we go through the four laws and he prays to receive Christ. He, he didn't know anything about the Bible, which is because of the Soviet system. But then, seven years later, in 1990 and 91, he invited us to come to his school and we shared the gospel with 200 uh, students in his school. And, you know, all because instead of uh, giving the guy a Playboy magazine, we went through the gospel and God uses all kinds of circumstances. We're told, uh, Paul tells, tells his disciple Timothy, he says, be prepared in season and out of season. You know, so we need to be ready to share, and be sensitive to God's leading more and more, to ask God, put somebody close to me, show me who's ready. If you're with somebody in an elevator and it's a, you know, more than, more than a few minutes, then that's a God-given opportunity. And you don't have to bring everybody to, to faith in every conversation, many touches. The fields are white under harvest. And I just want to introduce him to my best friend, whose name is Jesus.